now we gotta get back to, uh, let's see, what did we, we just, uh, okay, that's right, we got the book from the Empires, Impulse. So we should go show it to Shadface. I was taking a Shad the other day, and it felt good, too. Yeah. I kind of have mixed feelings about that name, Shad. This is extremely kind of personal, but, uh... I co-signed on a car loan, which you might have heard about that. I made, like, the biggest mistake of my life. And there's only six months left on that loan. Thank God, I'd be so glad when that's over with. But I've had to make several payments on it because they've just been so careless with it. And anyway, well, the girl who's... who I'm signed with, her name is Shannon. And, well, they call her Shaddy for short. So it's kind of like, sometimes you might shorten that to Shad, or it's... Well, I've, I've been known to think, or possibly maybe somehow subconsciously do that. And so, this guy's name kind of reminds me of that, and it's like, uh... Skywriting, where in blazes did you get this? You don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal? Right, let's try it out. I thought I heard him say something. That was scary. No reaction. Of course not! Jeez. Thanks ever so. You brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle, even though nothing happened. <laughs> it looked like that's what he was saying, too, when he raised his arm. Jeez. Mm. Sure enough. Well, what actually happens here now is because he chanted that word, or because you showed him the book, you now know where, uh... Hey, wait. Oh my gosh! My rod! You brought it back to life, man! That's sick! Power has returned to the Dominion Rod! You can once again splooge all over the place, including in your pants. The writing in the book was a spell that imbued the staff with magic. Now you can do the other statues what you did before. He did say he would mark your map wherever there was a statue, didn't he? We should go check out those spots. Yeah, that's pretty much, uh... That's pretty much what you gotta do now, and this is the only part of the quest that I would consider to be close to like earlier when I compared it to the Triforce quest in Wind Waker. It's kind of like that, but it's not so bad, because number one, there's only six statues, and you pretty much just go straight to them. It's not like you have to visit one spot to find out something in another spot and do that 49 times. No. There's only six of them, so it's not bad. And with your warping ability, that makes it even easier. Uh, yeah, let's take Epona. What the hell? Why I'm using the grass and not the charm, I don't know. I picked up the grass by accident, actually. I didn't even mean to. I was trying to roll, but... You know, one of the statues is pretty close to here. So yeah, we might as well go check it out. It's turning into daytime already. So I was gonna get that Poe at the thing, but I, he didn't seem to be there, so I don't know what to tell you about that. Anyway. So the first statue, this should always like be the first one you visit, because it's so close. I mean, there's no contest as to which one you should go to first. So you just come over here. Get the Dominion Rod ready. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, that on over there. And basically what you're gonna have to do is bring each statue to life and move it out of the way. And make sure that you walk onto the space where the statue was standing. Because that's how you get the characters into the book. To revitalize, or to get the word, the complete word. So that you can actually move the statue in the basement. And we are so close to the next temple, it's not even funny. This is pretty much the last thing you have to do before unlocking the temple, so... It's not too bad. I'm gonna go ahead and show how to get these chests, even though there's really no need. <laughs> not like that, you moron. So this is pretty clever. I mean, you do have to do stuff with these statues and with the Dominion Rod in general, so it's not a totally useless item that you'll only use in one temple. And really, neither is the spinner, if you consider the places you do go with it and that kind of thing. And it's so clever the way they program this, so that if you run along this ledge, pretty much no matter what you do, the statue always ends up in the perfect spot for you to jump across it and get the treasure. Most of these will be 100 rupees. Oh, uh, there's six in all, and, um, but two of them are actually pieces of heart, so there's 400 rupees and two pieces of heart, which is not bad, and I meant to warp there, but I didn't. 
That's what I was thinking. I'm gonna go ahead and get this one out of the way because this is the most annoying one. So yeah, I'll pretty much just show you what we have to do when we get there. Ugh. How long have you been recording? Oh, shoot. And, uh, froze my screen. <gasps> Crappy old caca poo poo. Mm, I can see the sky turning lighter, but I don't know. Oh, it is turning lighter, definitely now. Can I just, like, climb up to you and kick your ass? Oh, I can. Cool. Dude, that's no fair. You can't do that. Hang on. That's right. That's what you get for messing with me. That's for messing with my hand! Pfft, what the hell are you doing to my car? Hey, beat it, Spook. This don't concern you. Who are you calling Spook, Hecklewood? Okay, so move the statue. Don't forget to get the symbol. As always, it would be very easy to forget that, especially if you're playing through this, like, for the fifth or sixth time, and you just kind of start to not think about it very much. You know? Especially when you're, like, moving... Well, wait, where did the statue go? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> that was weird. I parked him on one side, he ended up on the other. So now you gotta walk the statue all the way across the bridge. And this can be very tedious. So I think I'm going to talk nice and slow while the sun rises so that we can make it across the bridge in due time. After all, you wouldn't want to watch an entire video of me just walking a statue across a bridge, because that would be inexorably boring. I love how the pixels are blinking on the... Oops, he's shooting at... Okay, alright, we can get back to the speed here. We're pretty much at the destination. Let's bring this guy around here and uh, stop for a second. I don't know if you want to try to get these guys or not. Just have to, because you're going to stop me for the statue. There's a little slot that he, like, kind of falls into that you can... But basically, you got to have him right in that right spot. Ah, uh, I went too far. Hang on. That's right. Oh, and I don't think there is... Okay, I'm thinking of some other statue. My bad. Okay, so let's just... Oh, how many of those guys are shooting at me? Holy crap. Picking up some free arrows out of it, I guess. Boy, that sun is definitely rising. And I went to bed last night at 3 a.m., which usually I get up at 3 because I work, but I have not been off of work for a few days. And, um... And so, like, I didn't want the sun to wake me up when it, got, when it came up at 6, so I was just like, put this cardboard in the window. Normally I can't trust it to stay in the window. So I put it in behind the blinds. And it actually worked, and I slept for like 10 hours, and I felt wonderful this morning. Man, I haven't slept that long in a while. Might as well do the desert. It's just holy mackerel, I couldn't believe it. I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping because now the pollen's getting me, and it's, my throat's swelled up. It's causing my breathing to be really... Like when I'm laying there, sometimes it's just... Sometimes my throat is so swollen up that I can't breathe without being... There's these huge vibrations. Like, and I have to lay on my side to stop that from happening. And sometimes even when I lay on my side, there's vibrations. It's just like really disturbing. I don't even know, man. Okay, so uh, this one's kind of... Yeah. This one's actually kind of a pain in the ass, to tell you the truth. So you gotta watch which platform you can actually get on here without assistance, which is this one out of the four corners here. Yeah, because you have to get on top of that one to jump across here and get yourself a symbol. If one gets stuck and you have to stay and sit, then try to pull it in. Your cheeks will send it to the pit. You found one, Scott character. Yep. Now the secret with these is you see these little raised areas um, on the platform. Well, normally, what it seems like you have to do is bring the statue to life while standing on one, and then, like, walk to the opposite one. Except that doesn't work from this angle, so... Let's start with the left one. Like, start with the left one and walk across to the right and let it go. Then go to the top one, and bring the statue to life, and walk to the bottom like this. And that pretty much puts it in the next spot where it needs to be so that you can jump across it or use it to get to the next set of platforms. Not like that. Don't be so nervous, man. Just jump. There you go. 
And I just do the same thing, like stand on this one here. And walk to the opposite one. That's I did that in the wrong order again. <laughs> Oops. Well no, you needed to move it that way, so you'd start on this end. This isn't so bad, I guess. I mean the treasure is right there, so. Yeah, see, and then you need to move it to the right, so you stand here. And walk across to the right. And there you go. Yeah, this makes me nervous walking on these mini platforms like this. I just never liked it. <laughs> Whatever. So we get the treasure, and it's 100 rupees! Okay. Alright, which one do we do next? There's two that are, like, right next to each other. I'm gonna go ahead and get those. They're right over here. 